Developing in the district, what's the true cost and economic impact of having major league teams in the nation's capital? And that includes a possible new stadium for the commanders. Our political reporter Leonard N. Fleming has been following this issue for months now. Leonard, D.C. leaders are paying for a study now to answer some of those questions. Mark and Annalisa, that's exactly right. This new sports study will look at potential financing for both new and old stadiums. And one major aspect is the anticipated look at a new Commander Stadium and the impact it will have in the district. This is Nina Albert, the Deputy Mayor for Planning and Development, whose office is overseeing the two firms conducting the sports study. This summer, Mayor Miro Bowser talked about the importance of the study and assessing the needs of every stadium and professional team and what it would take to build a new one for the Commanders. This includes Capital One Arena, the RFK site, Nationals Park and Audi Field. One pressing need is a new school board for the Nats Park, which would cost more than $20 million. Here is City Council Chairman Phil Mendelson, who has been opposed to a new football stadium funded by taxpayers. I would have thought there was more urgency around this. The uh, city needs to deal now, today, with issues that the Washington Nationals have with the stadium that we own where there's a lot of deferred maintenance. The city has to deal now with monumental sports and the fact that the arena downtown uh, is in many ways uh, outdated and um, uh, we need, we've need we been a partner in the past and we need to continue to be a partner. These are urgent needs. District officials say that the study will cost $394,000 and the first results could be ready as early as six weeks from today. Reporting from the newsroom, Leonard and Fleming, DC News Now, back to you.